All right, so it's not even 10.30 yet, and it's already 97 degrees outside. So we're staying inside today. Let's go. Wait, no, let's stay. Okay, now I'm toasty warm inside. Today, we're talking about sound effects and how you can make your own like little zipper sounds and put the hat on and like the swooshes and whooshes like <laughs> things like that. This is ridiculous. It is so hot out in here. Ah. All right. Okay, so it's pretty echoey in here. So I've got a lot of hard surfaces. You want like soft surfaces like carpet and maybe some drapes all around. So you kind of get rid of that echo a little bit. So I'm gonna make a little sound booth right over here. Let's go. Okay, so that's my little makeshift sound booth. Let me show you how to make some sounds. So to do the whip, pan, whoosh, whoosh, swash, swash, you're gonna need to just walk around your house and grab a few objects. And then for the zipper, we're gonna grab a few different bags and jackets because they all have a little bit different sound. So we're gonna record a few of different ones and see which one works the best. All right, so here's the setup. I've got the Sennheiser MKE 600 with the fluffy dead cat on it. That's gonna be one of the more important parts no matter what microphone you use. Put something around it to kind of muffle that wind noise because if you're doing a swoosh or a swish or a swash or whatever you want to call it, um, there's gonna be some wind noise and you don't want that that terrible microphone wind noise. We all know what that sounds like and it's awful. You don't want that. So I've got this paired up with a Tascam DR40. I'm gonna be recording sound onto that. If you don't have that, use your video mic and plug that into your camera as long as you have something to record sound. If you don't have any of those, use your phone with the voice memo app. Just take your phone and wrap it in a t-shirt, put it in a sock, put it in your hat. Just anything that's gonna muffle that wind noise is, is whatever you're doing, and whip, just whipping by. It's not gonna be a huge deal for say like a zipper sound or anything like that, but if you're creating wind noise, you don't want that crackle. The sound effects, that's what we're looking for here. So that one was recorded with this on-camera shotgun mic, and here it is with the on the boom pole shotgun mic. So the easiest way to record it is to record the actual thing that you are trying to re recreate the sound effect for. You just get the mic in closer so you get that real crisp, clear like on the zipper. You can also make the swoosh or the swash with your mouth. That's pretty easy. Just get real close to the mic. Do it several times. I mean, do a bunch of them. There's no nothing wrong with doing a whole lot of different sound effects. All you're gonna do is take them under your computer and you know delete the ones that you don't like anyway. So there's nothing wrong with doing a bunch of different ones. And really move around when you're doing this too. This will kind of add a little dimension to your sound effects. So once you're done shooting all your clips, you just take those into Premiere and drop those right onto your timeline. And here is really where you can start having some fun. Go over to your effects tab and get into your audio effects and then start dragging and dropping different effects and change different settings and change the sliders and just see what kind of different fun little sound effects you can come up with. I mean, you can come up with so many different sounds off of just one sound of a Have fun with it. Let me know what you come up with. I would love to hear the different sounds. And one more quick and easy way you can get sound effects for your videos is get online. I mean, there's websites like Epidemic Sound that have just this massive library of sound effects that you can use. Um, I honestly haven't signed up for this website yet, but I am going to very soon. I do want to check it out. It's relatively inexpensive and they just, they, they have got a lot of music and a lot of sound effects. So I'm super excited to check it out. All right, well, there's three quick ways to try to add some sound effects to your videos to really just give it that little mm, to really make that video better than everybody else's. Start pushing your videos over the edge. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you do, Give me that thumbs up down there. It does make a difference. Subscribe and I will see you guys.
next time.